Inside look, let's bring in David Steinberg, the co-founder and CEO of Zeta Global, which is a data-driven cloud marketing company. David, great to have you here today. Frank, great to be here. Thanks for having me. All right, so a lot of us are just kind of catching on to this secular buzz around AI. You've been in this for years. Give us a sense. Is there a storyline or something that investors haven't been talking about or maybe we haven't even been talking about here on CNBC that people should really be paying attention to when it comes to AI? Well, I think Dan got it right. It's the enterprise. Right now, we've entered what we're calling the golden age of artificial intelligence. And when you think about that, today, the vast majority of what I call the popularization of AI has been consumer-facing with chat GPT. When you think about where the money is, it's where enterprises in a time of great uncertainty from an economic perspective are looking how do they continue to do things better, faster, and cheaper. And at Zeta and others, we're focused on AI at the core of our platform to help enterprises better run their businesses. All right, you're not the first person I heard say that AI is going to be deflationary, but can you give us some more specific examples? I heard Alex Karp talk about healthcare, manufacturing, and supply chain. How specifically can AI reduce costs long term? Well, Zeta, we're generally able to lower a company's marketing costs by 50%. That is totally in tune with our ability to use artificial intelligence to know who is most likely to buy your products, right? So 100 years ago, a guy founded a, a shopping company called Woolworths, right? And he made one of the greatest quotes in history was, I know that 50% of my marketing spend is a waste. I just don't know which half. What we're doing is using AI to know who is actively in market to buy products. That also works in healthcare, it works in automotive, it works in financial services. And if you think about where AI helps enterprises, business intelligence, marketing, supply chain are going to be mission critical functionalities for automation. So we're just showing a graphic with some of the companies that you're working for and some of those brands, some of the biggest in the world. We're talking Samsung, Haynes brand, just a number of them here, Volvo and BMW as well. So when we're talking about AI, um, there's a big buzz around it. But at the same time, we're hearing more and more that companies are actually reducing their IT spend. How does that all work together right now? When we see companies, <laughs> you're laughing, we're seeing companies trying to reduce their spend on IT. But I can't imagine that, you know, I don't want to get too much into your business, but AI can't just be cheap, at least not to start. You know, interestingly enough, Frank, it's a lot cheaper than the number of bodies people are currently throwing at a lot of these problems, right? So it started with everybody, you know, operating and trying to figure out how to lower costs on their labor by moving overseas. What we're seeing now is artificial intelligence, which can process trillions of data points in real time, is able to come up with real-time decisioning that no human could do. And one of the things we've really focused on at Zeta is putting together multiple point solutions into one platform, right? So you would need five to seven different vendors to do what we do. Each one of those vendors has their own SG&A, right. has their own overhead that we're able to take out. So, David, don't take this the wrong way. I don't like chatbots. I don't like automated systems at all. I'm like a lot of people. I get on the phone. I hear that automated system. I'm just like, operator, operator, operator. So tell me about the future when it comes to marketing, advertising, customer relations, when it comes to AI. How will AI improve that experience that has so many of us frustrated? Well, Frank, let's start by saying we don't do that uh, at Zeta. We're, no, I know. I know you don't do it, but I'm just giving you, I think that's the application that most of us are most familiar with. Yeah. I was just making a joke. I, I was teasing. But, but uh, the, the reality is that what our goal is, is to put products in front of our potential customers for our enterprise clients for the stuff they really want. We all spend so much time being inundated by products we don't care about, right? So for us, it's how do you create real world experiences in a digital ecosystem that, are, that make people happy. So it, it's, it's harder to do than it sounds because there's so much frustration with automation and so much of it starts with IVR systems like you talked about or other areas where people are frustrated and they just end up going operator, operator, operator. <laughs> I think we've all done that. <laughs> yes. what, what we're trying to do is make it so you don't even have to call. 
we're trying to create a solution where you're getting the product and the experience that you want digitally in a way that can help our enterprise clients massively lower cost while helping consumers to get to the products and services they really would like to have. So Dave, I want to put you on the spot just a little bit. We talked manufacturing, we talked supply chain, we talked healthcare. These are different areas. We've, we've heard a lot of people talk about AI disrupting, potentially improving. Can you give us like a, a sneaky one, an under the radar field sector area where you see AI making a big transformation? So one of the places we're seeing it that nobody's talking about is business intelligence. The ability to use disparate points of data to make real world business decisions that today you would hire McKinsey to do, or you would hire Boston Consulting Group or BCG to do. That's gonna become more and more automated. The other thing that nobody talks about is AI is only as good as the data that it ingests. And so much of the narrative around AI today is it can do anything. It can only do stuff if it gets access to incredibly high quality data. We rolled out a new product called Chatbot Zeta, which ingests all of your personal reading and research when it creates the outputs for your open AI platform. So instead of having to get to know you in real time and perhaps be focused on what other people are doing, it takes your real world experiences and converts it into your AI outputs. Really? That's just an example of how real-time data can help AI do a better job. All right, so you got chatbot Zeta, but you don't make chatbots. Just to be clear to the audience, David Steinberg, co-founder and CEO of Zeta Global, we really appreciate you being here. Great insight. Thank you.